as we have seen in compressible fluid flow that is compressible fluid um, as we have seen in compressible fluid flow through nozzles and orifices we have seen that is mass flow rate through the fluid as well as <coughs> velocity of the fluid we have also seen what is maximum flow rate as well as maximum velocity we'll use this to see what is variation of maximum flow rate with the pressure ratio and also calculate what is relation of velocity with sonic velocity Variation of mass flow rate with pressure ratio. Now, we know that the mass flow rate is given as m dot is equals to a2 into square root of 2 times gamma upon gamma minus 1 into p1 upon a rho of p1 into not p1 into rho 1 into n raised to 2 upon gamma minus of n raised to gamma plus 1 upon gamma. So this is formula for mass flow rate. So we have to know what is a mass flow rate per unit area relation with versus what is a pressure ratio P2 by P1. So this is what we have to calculate. So let us take some random values of these variables. First of all, we will know gamma is equals to 1.4. We let us consider P1 is equals to 1 bar that is 1 atmospheric pressure 1.023 or 1.032 into 10 to power 5 that is value of P1 and density we will consider density of air is 1.2 kg per meter cube or rather we will consider this as 1 kg per meter cube not 1.2 we will consider 1 kg to be very precise so now what we have to calculate over here there are two variables mass flow rate per unit area is equals to that is a square root of this part that is a 2 into 1.4 upon 1.4 minus 1 a p1 that is a value is 1.0325 into 10 to power 5 into 1 and n raised to 2 upon 1.4 minus n raised to 1.4 plus 1 upon 1.4. So this entire value we have. So we have to vary the value of n over here. We have to vary the value of n and we have to see what is the effect over here. So now what we'll do over here is in our calculator will use the function of equation. So in your calculator, you will have a function of equation f of x. We will substitute this entire equation that is a square root of 1.4 so on and so forth. Instead of, instead of n, there will be x and here also there will be x. Now we will vary this value from its minimum value that is 0 to which let us consider the maximum value of p2 by p1 as 1. Now during this if you vary this entire value from 0 to 0.1 we can see over there that is this variation we encounter that is when n is equals to 0 mass, uh, mass flow rate per unit area is uh, 0. So on and so forth if we will go we can see over here the maximum mass flow rate is 0 0.632.15363 uh, and the next maximum is 362. So that means in this range the mass flow rate is maximum. If you still increase this from 0 0.6 to 0, 0 0.5 to 0 0.6, if you still increase the range between these two values, then we'll get the mass flow rate maximum m dot upon a2 
maximum at a value n is equals to 0 0.528 which we have already seen now if we plot this entire graph so this graph will look something like this on your y-axis and on your x-axis there are two things over here this x-axis is a controllable quantity which is controlled by us so that is the pressure ratio that is a p2 by p1 and this is the dependent quantity that is mass flow rate per unit area mass flow rate per unit area is dependent upon the pressure ratio so if you have this deviation by calculating this entire part deviation we can plot this graph as initially this graph will increase and then it will start to decrease at this point we can see over here this is the zenith point or this is the maximum point over there so over here this is maximum mass flow rate this is the maximum mass flow rate and this value over here of n2 by n1 comes out to be 0 0.528 8. this is 0 0.528 now this is this point is maximum value of mass flow rate this value is n2 by n1 initially it increases to a value of maximum after that it decreases as we increase the value of n2 so this is the variation of mass flow rate per unit area with respect to with respect to the pressure ratio initially is increases maximum value is 0 0.28 then it gradually decreases to again the value will be 0 so if you consider this as 0 and 1 so here also this first coordinate we have seen first coordinate over here is 0 comma 0 which is over here the second coordinate is 1 comma 0 so 1 this is a 1 comma 0 in between this the pressure ratio is increases then further decreases from 0, 0 0.0 to 0. Point 0 0.528 and further from 0 0.528 to 0 next what we'll see is relation of velocity with sonic velocity now we know that relation of velocity of fluid at outlet with sonic velocity now we know over here that velocity v2 is equals to square root of 2 times gamma upon gamma plus 1 into p1 upon rho 1 so we have substituted this that is the maximum velocity that is the maximum velocity which we have seen so p1 upon rho 1 so we know that n is equals to p2 by p1 and value of p1 will be n times p2 so we can substitute in this equation and rho 1 will be equals to we can write rho 1 in terms of n and rho 2 so let us see this is p1 upon rho 1 is equals to p2 upon rho 2 raised to gamma so this will be equals to if you take this on the other side and this on the other side so we will get this as minus 1 upon gamma into rho 2 let us see how these value come so this will be p1 upon rho 1 raised to gamma is equals to p2 upon rho 2 raised to gamma so rho 1 raised to gamma multiply on the other side so this will be equals to rho 2 raised to gamma into p1 by p2 so this is rho 1 
रो वन विल बी इक्वल टू रो टू इन टू वन अपॉन एन रेस टू वन अपॉन गैमा सो दिस विल बी रो वन is equals to rho two raised to minus one upon gamma. We'll substitute that in the initial equation. So our initial equation states that v two, that is the velocity, is equals to square root of two times gamma upon gamma plus one into p one is n times p two upon value of uh, rho one is equals to root two into n raised to minus one upon gamma. So let us substitute this. So v two is equals to gamma two times gamma upon gamma plus one into p two upon root two. Let us take this in the let us take this in the numerator. So this will be n raised to one plus One upon gamma, so this will be equals to v two is equals to two two times gamma plus one into p two upon root two into n raised to gamma plus one upon gamma. So we have over here the value of n raised to gamma plus one upon gamma. This value which we have seen earlier, this is n raised to Gamma plus one upon gamma is equals to two upon gamma plus one. Uh, not uh, is equals to two upon gamma plus one raised to minus one. So this will come in the numerator. This will come in the denominator. So we'll just substitute this value. So this will be equals to v two is equals to square root of Two times gamma upon gamma plus one into p two upon rho two into two upon two upon gamma plus one raised to minus one. If we substitute this, we'll get this as v two is equals to two upon gamma upon gamma plus one into p two upon rho two gamma plus one by two two and two rho Gamma one plus gamma two will go away, and we'll get v two is equals to square root of gamma p two upon rho two. So this is v two is equals to c two, that is value of sonic velocity. That means when a fluid is flowing, when a compressible fluid is flowing through a nozzle and orifice, its velocity is comparable to the velocity of sound. i hope you have understood what is the variation of variation of mass flow rate per unit area with respect to pressure ratio and what is relation of maximum velocity to the sonic velocity thank you